6.10 is on geothermal energy. Same thing as before, be able to describe how we use it and the effects it has on the environment. Geothermal energy comes from uh, just the heat stored in Earth's interior. So we use that heat to heat up water and create steam, and then that will drive the generator, and then we can actually put that water back. So we have this constant flow of water because it heats back up, and then we use it to create steam, and then so on. It's clean, it's reliable, it's replenishable. Like I said, we can continue using it. It's efficient. We can also have smaller systems that can be used to heat homes and cool homes, um, just like that. the temperature difference uh, in the seasons. So, and if it's hot outside, we can, um, we can disperse that heat into the ground. But if it's cool outside, we can bring that heat back up from the surface. It's pretty neat. However, it's not easily accessible in many parts of the world. There are some places in the world where um, it's a great source of electricity, like in Iceland, um, but there are places where the geology just, it's not there. You know, there's just not a good place to tap into that heat. You can also release hydrogen sulfide. Um, construction is expensive and releases carbon. There's also the possibility of earthquakes because you're messing with, you know, stuff under the crust. It can create, like, um, instability. There are also times where we take that water out more than we are replenishing it. That can also create instability and lead to earthquakes. The end.